Okay, everybody, happy Easter. Uh, Millie and I wanted to read you guys the rest of the story that she and Alex read on Friday. Um, today is really Friday, but you're not going to watch this till Sunday. So, this is the rest of the Easter story in our Jesus Storybook Bible. Um, we wanted to read you guys um, the, the, well, not really the end, the middle part of the story, okay? Um, so, before we start, we're going to say our code word that we learned. I'm going to say, He is risen, and you guys are going to say, He is risen indeed. Good job, guys. So, this story is called God's Wonderful Surprise. Okay. Jesus' friends were sad. They would never see their best friend again? How could this happen? Wasn't Jesus the rescuer, the king God had promised? It wasn't supposed to end like this. Yes, who, but whoever said anything about an end? Just before sunrise on the third day, God sent an earthquake and an angel from heaven. When the guards saw the angel, they fell down with fright, and the angel rolled the huge stone away, sat on top of it, and waited. At the first glimmer of dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other women headed to the tomb to wash Jesus' body. The early morning sun slanted through the olive trees, drops of dew glittering on leaves and grasses. The friends walked quietly along a hilly path through the olive groves until they reached the tomb, and they immediately noticed something odd. It was wide open. They peered through the opening, but wait, the body was gone. You see that, Millie? It's open. The tomb is empty. And something else. A shining man was there with clothes made from lightning. Don't be scared, the angel said. But they couldn't help it. They screamed anyway. Ah! The angels asked them, what are you doing here? This is a tomb, and tombs are for dead people. The women couldn't speak. Jesus isn't dead anymore, he said. He's alive again. The women and their hearts leapt. He's alive again? And then the angel laughed with such gladness that they fell for a moment as if they had woken from a nightmare. Sorry, guys, I'm just laughing at Millie. Jesus is alive. Then the other women rushed home, but Mary stayed behind. How could it be true? Jesus was definitely dead. How could he be alive? Just then, Mary heard someone else in the garden. Perhaps it's the gardener, she said. I don't know. Maybe he'll know where Jesus' body is. I don't know where Jesus is, Mary said urgently. I can't find him. But it was all right. Jesus knew where she was, and he had found her. Mary! Only one person said her name like that. She could just make out the, a figure. She shaded her eyes to see, and she thought she was dreaming. But she wasn't dreaming. She was seeing Jesus. Mary fell to the ground. Suddenly tears filled her eyes and great sobs shook her whole body. And all she wanted in that moment was to cling to Jesus and never let him go. You'll be able to hold on to me later, Mary, Jesus said, and I will always be close to you. But now go and tell the others that I'm alive. And you see, she's running to tell everybody. Mary ran and ran all the way to the city. She had never run so fast or so far in all her life. She felt like she could have run forever. She didn't even feel like her feet touched the ground. The sun seemed to be dancing and gleaming and bounding across the sky, racing with her and shining brighter than she could ever remember in the clear, fresh air. And it seemed to her that morning as she ran, almost as if the whole world had been made new, Almost as if the whole world was singing for joy. The trees, the tiny sounds in the grass, the birds, and even her heart. Was God really making everything sad come untrue? Was he making even death come untrue? She couldn't wait to tell Jesus' friends. They won't even believe it, she said. And of course, she was right. All right, happy Easter, everyone. We'll say it again. He's risen. He is risen indeed. We love you guys so much, Mosaic Kids. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome Easter.